it is time. Uh, have you guys ever listened to much uh, Hiatus Coyote? Yeah. I yeah. personally haven't, but I've only heard amazing things. Okay. Well, they are an Australian jazz and funk band formed in Melbourne in 2011. Uh, Nye Palm is the singer and the guitarist. Um, the bassist is Paul Bender. And um, the keyboardist is Simon Mavin, the drummer, Pem, uh, Pernan Moss. Um, and the, uh, they got the best R&B Grammy winner for the song in, uh, 2016, the one we're getting ready to listen to. So why don't we just get on into it? It's Hiatus Coyote breathing underwater here on Galaxy Jams Reacts. It does look like a really fancy screensaver. Hmm. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. The keyboard Ooh, parts. Oh my cool. god, that's so warm. I know it's insane actually Yeah, it was really nice. That's what it looks like whenever I play. <laughs> oh, it's so dope. Her voice is so gorgeous. I bet they were covered with sand. Like, 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 uh huh. Like they lost a guitar pick in there or something after this. Uh huh. So one of the sure. things that I really liked in the beginning is how like uh, she had like this like other voice behind her, but mm -hmm. it was normally when people do like voices together, it's like almost at the same time, but it felt like the other voice behind the main voice was like lagging behind, right? Which gave it like this really weird, like dissonant, like uncomfortable kind of feeling mm -hmm. with me. Um, I also really enjoyed the drums and how like kind of thin and tinny and old it was like the kick you could there wasn't that much like sub it was just like really really old jazz kit you mm -hmm. know so i kind of uh i also really love her outfit and i feel like i'm like being a better person just from listening to this honestly <laughs> and like watching this i feel like i'm like learning things and like seeing all this like crazy like sand and 
uh, in the water and the stone and all this dualities, right? It's uh, really, really, I was not expecting this at all. Uh, what do you think, Katie? Well, this is a really beautiful video, and I, I love her outfit, too. I'm a bitch for any kind of weird sounds on a synth. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. The, like, beautiful jazz, and then the, the synth comes in. That's just really gets me in the sweet spot. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Right when it comes in, it's, like, so warm. I'm just, like, feel like someone's giving me a hug. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the one thing I love about this band is um, that they are kind of like R&B one moment and they're electronica and proggy the next. And they're kind of, you know, even jazzy, mismatching all these kinds of different genres together uh, and being very cohesive about it. Um, they kind of talked about that before and they kind of say that we're not really R&B or jazz or this or that. We're what we like to consider all of it together. So we're Wondercore. Yeah, this is what they call them. So wonder, wonder, yeah, wonder, wonder core. Core. Whoa, and that's, I like that. It word. is cinematic, <laughs> though, right. you know. And uh, I actually never heard of them until one of our guests brought them as a pick. I think mm -hmm. it was uh, the guy from Cycles, or maybe the John I, T. I thought it was. Uh, yeah. I think it might have been the John T. Yeah. I think it might have been yeah. him. Mm -hmm. He brought this. And then when I'm seeing them, they're like actually like a really gigantic band. And they mm -hmm. just kind of like were not on my radar at all. What do you think, Chris? Oh, man, I'm fully enjoying this. I like a lot of the stuff that you said about the cinematography. Uh, and especially what you said about dualities. I thought that was kind of yeah. cool. That was like very insightful. And I was getting good vibes off all of your, uh, um, your sentiments from this. Uh, to me... The instrumentation is on point. There's like a lot of really intricate and cool parts that could stand alone as great pieces of music without the accompaniment. So it's like one of those things where the the sum is greater than its parts, which is right. what a song absolutely should be. I mean, that's that's a sign of a kick-ass band. Um, there's also, you know, it's hard for me to focus and like hear every single word that she's saying, but she said something about be, like breathing you underwater, I yeah. think is kind of the hook. Which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's a deep thing. She said something about chamomile, and I don't remember exactly what that was, but I thought that was really pretty. <laughs> yeah, too. I caught that too. And I feel like she's using her voice more like an instrument than like actually like oh, yeah. a storytelling you know device essentially. And also, I really like that they chose to have them playing their instruments in the video because mm -hmm. it feels like this video is like huge budget with a lot of artistic direction in it. And I always find the more music videos we watch, like whether bands make the choice of showing them actually playing an instrument instrument on the video right as opposed to them just like doing everything else so it's really fascinating why don't we uh keep going right. it's like oil and water that basis is like i'm wearing a comfortable coat yeah I want that coat. These big earrings are sweet. That's cool. It's like so many layers that just keep unfolding. Uh-huh. So that looks like fun, just taking a sand bath. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sand bath. That's so cool. I love that sound. I like the dynamics. They're kind of like pulling back right now, but still keeping it full. I wonder how they do that. How does the water not sink into the sand? I know. That's cool. This sand. Because I don't think this is just like random sand. like clips from other people. I think that they made this for the video, right? I think it slowed down uh, reversed yeah. water. Oh, you think it's reversed? Yeah. That would make a lot of sense. What do you think this song is about? I I think this song is about like breathing in 
you know, like being like one with the flow, I guess, right? Going with it, right? If, you know, things will be all right if you just... Uh, and it's like breathing in water. It's like something that's like impossible, right? That's supposed to be like death, but it's also like a sign that like anything's possible. Like, I don't know. I'm just I'm pure speculation here, but I do think that everything's possible. <laughs> I got it. Could yeah, be. I thought that that was cool. And um, I really thought that video was epic. It's one of those songs that you have to have another conversation about the video and the music because, like I said, I don't I don't think like I've seen bands where you blatantly can see that it's like clips that they just found online and right. they just kind of like put it together of like a starry sky or like the sun setting or like whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. But it looks like every single piece of footage we saw was like cut specifically for this production. I was really I like it was style. like slow and then it sped up and it's slow and like it was hesitating uh -huh. like the mm -hmm. the rhythm I felt like like no beat I've ever heard me too I was kind of like that too. it was like this weird like Middle Eastern shuffle you yeah, know kinda, that yeah and it ke I felt like it kept changing throughout but like I wouldn't catch it until it was like about to change into the next thing well, I think that's the thing about like them. that are too are they're too like deep. Like I feel like we could have a book club about just that video. Mm -hmm. Oh like, my god, yeah. <laughs> definitely. And Mike, I, feel, I bet this script was like as big as a book for right. them to write Mike, that. What do you What do you mean Middle Eastern shuffle? What does that mean? I don't know cuz I kind of felt like there was like this weird Mediterranean. I wouldn't say weird. I guess it was, right? Because the whole song kind of sounded odd and like disjointed in a way, but also beautiful and flowing at the same time. It wasn't like super happy go lucky. And I felt like it was some kind of like progression, like a Mediterranean progression in there. It felt like I was watching like a world beat band more than like uh, you know, an R and B band, right? Like kinda of all just a mishmash of all of it. Yeah. You know? Because there's definitely R and B stuff, there's definitely jazz stuff, there's definitely like that that interesting drum shuffle that they were doing and and it's you know they won a Grammy in R and B mm -hmm. for this song, yeah. so it's it's interesting that wow right that's what I'm saying. So it's interesting how that's like under the R and B category, mm -hmm. but this song is exemplary of like how wide that category can actually be. And how many um, I, Grammys are given to behind the scenes? Yeah, I got a Grammy. I, know I want a, a Grammy. Song. <laughs> I know this is a good song because it's it's got me still like head bobbing and vibing yeah. like long after it's over. Like I feel like. Like I'm still swaying, right? And you might not even just a little bit. You might not yeah, even right, right, right. Really know. It felt very original. Yeah. Like I don't think I've heard anything like that before. Me neither. Yeah. Definitely. But it, it, it's still even if you don't know exactly what she's singing in the chorus, because I kind of made it out. Uh, but you know, like Mike said, I do believe she's using her voice more as, as an instrument, um, and kind of just letting the words flow together. And that's why you know I'd love to see like a lyric video with this to really get the meaning behind it. But um, I think that um, you still will remember that melody. I'm still hearing it in my head. I think that we had to take, we had to do another take of the song after mm -hmm. we were listening to it for about 20 seconds. And even though I heard that first 20 seconds a second time, I'm mm -hmm. still sitting there like, I have no idea what the fuck's going on. Right. <laughs> I feel like I'm like just like on this ride that mm -hmm. like, you know, of, of colors and dazzling. Oh, another thing that I was thinking of is that, have you guys ever heard of this metal band called Mushroom Head before? Oh, I just mixed uh, them at the Gathering of the Juggalos like three oh, cool. weeks ago. I worked so, with them not even long ago. Oh, my God. That's epic. So they do this thing where they have paint like on their drums. And when they hit the drums, like paint flies up. Oh, wow. And I think that's yeah. them, right? Great. And so like that's I correct. was getting yep. that same thing with the sand on the drum kit when it was hitting it and it was all flying up. It made me think of that band. I can definitely see the similarities in that that's that's true and those drums are awesome in mm. spite of the fact that they get my stage really really wet they have water all over them so they hit it and they have led lights inside of the drums oh, wow. and it makes this big splashing light show whenever they hit the water on the drums that's cool it's really cool but it's really wet and yeah. kind of not safe for the gear always but <laughs> it's so cool um a club owner that i'm friends with brought icp to their show and they had to literally put plastic all over like every surface Wow. Yeah, man. Really? At Shaka's, EJ. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He had, John had to put all the, like, plastic and everything. And they also, I think they spray, like, diet Fago because there's no <laughs> sugar and it helps it not, like, be as sticky. Oh, Is wow. that true? 
Yeah, it's so true. I don't know if you guys saw, but I did this and like did that in the middle of the song. It's because my Venmo popped up. I literally got paid for the gathering of the Juggalos during this. Oh, song. let's go! Like, yeah! It's all coming full circle. <laughs> Very awesome cool. that was a good one that was an experience, though. yeah man we should listen to some icp together sometime because <laughs> you know I'm, i may not be a juggalo but especially after my first gathering i'm definitely down with the clown i can't i can't fight it nice. it's infectious it's infectious in your heart it, where's your tattoo it's, it's, it's infectious in more than one way this, this is my only tattoo it's just a spot it's the world's smallest hatchet, man. I know you can't see it, but it's there. <laughs> Hi, this is Mike with Galaxy Jams Reacts. We hope that you enjoyed that React video. Be sure to check out the links below of when we're going to be live streaming our next show and also how to watch full episodes. Please hit that subscribe button. Every single one helps.